and we're back with another week of breaking down my latest project in FL Studio 21. Let's go, here are the sounds. So the majority of this drop is just a lead, these two leads and the sub bass. So the first lead we have some, I mean they're both actually pretty simple, just uh, two oscillators, one a sine wave and the other a saw wave with a little bit of distortion and then The magic is in the effects. So we have a patcher preset that I made, a little fat rack. And then just cutting the lows, Cutting the high, then adding in the highs with distortion, then cutting the lows again. Now the other lead. And they sound really nice together, but... This is that one, and that's just one oscillator, saw wave, uh, LFO is on the octave, giving it that. So without it, just goes from high to low with some noise on it. So really clean and dirty. So we have distortion on it and hyperdimension which is being automated with the LFO again and then pretty clean effects cutting the lows reverb on the reverb tail and then some other taming and then we have sub in the mid bass. Once again, just simple layering tips, but sub is just the sub minus one octave, triangle wave with the sync up about 50%, white noise, and then just cutting the white noise and distorting it. And then the mid bass. I made a wide mid bass. It's the exact same thing, except instead of cutting the, the highs, we're cutting the lows. So, and then I'm introducing width into the high end. So this is just splitting the low end and the high end, this patcher. <laughs> and then we're cutting the lows, cutting the lows, making sure everything is good. Then we're clipping it. And that's nice, really dirty. But I just wanted to show you guys what the drop is like without this main portion, because it's mostly just resampled stuff and then a couple bass fills and random sounds, but it's all just the, the rhythm, the vibe, the flow is. So it is really heavily just those leads and that bass. But aside from that, we have some other fun sound design things going on like this right here, which is just 
vocoded uh, the the lead is resampled and then vocoded with just a snare so that's right here this is the lead resampled this one and this is the snare and then this is the vocodext um, patch so the lead is going in lead and the snare is going into the vocodex which is giving it that color then distorting it a little bit cutting the lows and making it wide then clipping it and then we have just a ton of resampled stuff And then we have this here. Just a little synthy vocal fill. And that is just super distorted lead. Um, two saw waves one with one up, up an octave, seven voices, the other with 14 voices, a little bit less detuned, and tube distortion, and then a lot of that sound is all the effects. So cutting the highs, isotope trash, making it dirty. We'll take all these away and then add them individually. Cutting highs, reintroducing highs, cutting the lows, OTT for space, cutting the highs again, ring mod, and cutting the lows, and just a little bit more tape. For the first bass fill, we have this cool little joint here. And that is that is this. So obviously we're automating the LFO. We have two oscillators. Really it can be whatever the hell you want. The first LFO is on wavetable level, and then the drive of the distortion and the mix of the distortion. And we have the second LFO on the FM. So that's just basically turning the FM on as it um, oscillates through. And then we have the rate just going down like that roly-poly baby and then with no effects it's just super percussive but let's turn off everything Bokodex this is the fat rack that automating on and off pitch map taming some frequencies and then cutting the low nice And then we have a couple more bases, and that's it. We have this. Which is just uh, like a distorted bass. And 
and that is two oscillators, saw wave, sine wave, saw wave down two octaves, LFO is on the level, the FM cutoff and frequency of the high notch filter. It's also on the drive, the distortion, the frequency of the flanger, and the frequency of the EQ, opening up that high end. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. And that is the sound, and then we have EQ, Formant, Filter, OTT, Fat Rack, and LFO Tool with another EQ. So it really just adds a lot of space. Super mono. Nice and spacious. Jesus Christ. Can't even hear it with all the fucking clipping from the CPU. Let me have this one. Another distorted bass we got going on here. Nice thick growl. Mono. Just adding that space with that patcher fat rack. Some EQ and some clipping. And then the patch looks like this. Ah, it's fucking thick. Zero square. So we have LFO. Two oscillators, square wave, sine wave, FMing. And usually this is down, but for this one, I guess I decided to have this one. The second oscillator up. Then we have it on a low pass, opening up, as you can see, and then we got some automations going on. This is automating the square, zero square distortion, so it's going something like this, but Yuki doesn't show for some reason. And then we have EQ opening up as well another EQ I think this one's I turned that off I didn't like that and then yeah that's it nice nice sound and then this one another growl And that is right here. Just one oscillator, two octaves down. Your stereotypical Wub LFO. Same thing, wavetable on the level, on the cutoff of the high notch filter. High notch filters always give that really nice growly vowel. Yeah. Then we got some hyperdimension making it wide, tube distortion, and another filter, a high notch filter, changing the, so the same thing. Yeah, you can see it's going down here. So with it off, there's space, and then you see it dips. That's what's going on. It's basically this one just doing that. And for this section, we just resampled this, the whole 
A section, the lead. Like I said, it's all these resampled things because without this, you just have a lot of background stuff going on. So. But what I really like, I just think I, I snapped on the sound design here is this outro like crash ambient the ending of it i just think it sounds really pretty so minus the piano it sounds like this and that is this crash reverse Got that nice sprinkle on it. I don't think there's any. Yeah, it's just clean. And then this down lifter, which is just a single oscillator, voices all the way up with one LFO on the wavetable, oscillating through that, throughout that whole down lift. And then it's going down in pitch on the course pitch then we have the level is just oscillating back and forth and being automated so it slows down towards the end and then this one is bringing the level down so it gets quieter then we have And this, this was really cool. This is the resampled a piano, the piano from the intro. So this is... So I put a ton of reverb on that and a ton of delay and crystallizer, which just gives you these really cool granular delays. And I got this. And then we got this. Which is the leads. And then I just, on this last one, these last two hits, I resampled it with huge Valhalla room and um, the same thing, crystallizer. <laughs> And I got that, and then this last one is basically just saw wave. Not, yeah, changing pitch a little bit, going down. So we have that LFO on both course pitches of these saw waves. And this is an an eighth note triplet but all together the these sound like this back it up a little bit really majestic and pretty but I forgot to mention these little these and that is how I made my latest track Thanks for watching.